In this video, I'm going to make a responsive page in EvWeb, like the one you see on screen. By just creating one page in EvWeb, I can make a web page that can be used on mobile phones, tablets, and desktops. I'm going to start by creating a new EvWeb project file. Using the theme template chooser, I can use the responsive page style of the blank theme, or use the home page of the blank responsive theme. In the footer of the page, is a responsive row widget with the Made with EvWeb logo in it. We'll come back to this later. First of all, let's add the navigation menu widget to the page. When I drag and drop the widget onto the page, it automatically becomes full width. Next, go to the widget settings and apply the settings that you require. Remember to use the responsive options if you want the menu bar to become a hamburger icon menu when viewed on mobile devices. After styling the navigation menu widget, go to the Widgets tab and drag and drop a responsive row widget onto the page, underneath the navigation menu widget. We will be using these widget settings throughout the video. Next I'm going to add an image directly onto the responsive row widget from the assets list. Now I'm going to add a text box and copy and paste some text in that I had prepared earlier. Use the grab handles or the metrics inspector to resize the text box. For viewing on a mobile phone, use a width of less than 320 pixels. To add some spacing between the image and the text box, click on the responsive row widget itself and then go to the widget settings. Set a value for between columns. You can add padding to the top and bottom of the responsive row widget as well. In this example, a value of 50 to 60 pixels usually works well. Now let's add a second responsive row widget to the page. Drag and drop it onto the page. For this responsive row widget, I'm going to add a background image. Go to the Shape Options tab and select Image Fill. Select the image that you want to use for the background. In my example, I'm also going to set the image opacity at 50%. Next, I will drag and drop an image into the responsive row widget from the Assets list. I'm going to select the image and then go to the Shape Options tab and select Scale to Fit and then I can resize the image as I want within the responsive row. Now I'm going to insert some text, so I'm going to add a text box. This appears as full width, as I have not selected the responsive row first. To add the text box into the responsive row, select the text box itself, and then secondary click. Select Pick Layer to show that the text box is selected, and then go to the Embed In option to move the text box into the right responsive row. I can move objects around in the responsive row just by dragging and dropping them in place. Next, I will copy and paste text into the box. Click on the responsive row itself and use the widget settings to add in the required padding. Add another responsive row widget onto the page, and this time drag and drop the contact form advanced widget onto the page. You can typically drag and drop most widgets onto the responsive row widget. As before, I can add a text box and apply styling options as required. Add the next responsive row widget to the page, and this time I'm going to drag and drop four images onto the responsive row widget. Now I'm going to use some padding between them using the responsive row widgets padding options. Next, I'll resize all four images at once to fit onto one line in the responsive row widget. Using the same method, I will add in another responsive row widget to include the Apple and Google Play Store images. I can also adjust the background colors so that my page highlights various different sections. Once I've completed my page, preview to see the end results. In the next video, we're going to refine the page to show you some finishing options and some extra hints and tips to help you with responsive design.